Hello! In this video, I will show you some methods of organizing and managing content in NetFiles. We'll look at creating folders, moving files, searching, and bookmarking content, and more. Right now, I have several quick reference guides stored in my home directory. I want to put them all in one folder. So, I'll click New Folder and type a name. I could choose Next to change the default folder permissions, which are private to me only, but I'll just click Finish. The default permissions for a new folder are Read, Write, Delete, and Administer for the owner. So here's my new folder. Now I can move the guides into it. First, I'll select the files, then click Move. Using the Destination menu, I'll click my home directory to reveal its existing folders. I'll choose QR Guides. The Destination text box now shows the path to the folder, so I'll click OK. The files have now been moved to my folder. And the files have retained their permission settings, as will any content you move. You can also copy or rename files and folders. Simply select the content first. If you need a copy, use the Copy command. Unlike content you move, copied content will inherit the permissions of its new location. If you rename content, be sure to leave any file extension intact. To delete a file, select the content and click Delete. Poof! It's no longer visible. It's been moved to the trash. The trash won't be visible until you delete something for the first time. Trash serves as your backup in case you accidentally delete content. Once you delete content from trash, it's gone forever and cannot be recovered. I've uploaded a few recipes to NetFiles. I'm going to do a quick search to find some of them. I'll type my search term and press Enter. NetFiles not only searches for file or folder names, but also file contents. Here are my search results. I can download, manage, or organize these files right from here. For more advanced search options, click the Open Search Options arrow. Here, you can further specify your search criteria, and what's more, you can add additional properties to search by. I'm looking for the recipe that references German chocolate cake, so I'm going to search for files that contain the word cake in their title. I will also search file contents for the word German. You can add your own search property to narrow your search. You can also set other search parameters here. Once you have all your criteria, click Search. Aha! This is the recipe I want. Close the advanced search options by clicking the arrow next to the search field. In NetFiles, you can bookmark content for easy access. The Bookmarks menu is located at the top left. From here, you can access existing bookmarks as well as the root folder, which is how you get to departmental accounts as long as you have access. I'm going to show you how to bookmark material that's been shared with you shortly. 
you can bookmark your own content by using these top two options. However, bookmarks are especially useful for finding content that others have shared with you. When content is shared with you, you are usually notified by email. Click the subscribe to and or bookmark link and log in. You can change the bookmark name if you want. The bookmark location defaults to your main bookmarks menu. Subscriptions will send an email when someone accesses the file or folder. Click OK. Here's the content I just bookmarked. Notice in the breadcrumbs I am in the shared folder. From here I can always click home to get back to my user folder. The bookmark is in my bookmarks menu. Note, if you don't bookmark shared content, you may have to hunt for the URL to access it. This is it for managing and organizing content.